Summary of Old Man at the Bridge by Ernest Hemingway An elderly gentleman may be seen resting on the side of a bridge, looking tired and covered in dirt. A lot of people are in a hurry to cross the bridge with their families and things, but he is too tired to go. They are people from the village who are running away from the fighting in the Spanish Civil War. The soldier who tells the story is on the Republican, left wing, side and sees the old man crossing the bridge to check on the enemy, who are likely nationalists or fascists on the right. Most of the other people who had to leave have left by the time the reporter comes back, but the old man is still sitting on the ground. The narrator talks to him and tries to get him to keep going towards safety. The old man says he came from taking care of horses in the town of San Carlos. The person telling the story doesn't understand why the old man is telling him this until the old man says that he was the last person to leave his town because he didn't want to leave his animals behind. He is afraid for the goats, birds, and cat that he left behind to die. At the same time, the storyteller is worried about the forces that are coming toward them and will definitely try to kill them both. The narrator tells the old man to try to walk until he can catch a truck that can take him away. The old man lies down again and says, I was taking care of animals. It sounds like the storyteller gives up on trying to help the old man and leaves him to die there. About the author. Ernest Hemingway grew up in a neighborhood in Chicago. His first job after high school was working for the Kansas City Star, but he quit after only six months to join the Red Cross Ambulance Corps during World War I. He was hurt while serving and was given the Silver Medal of Military Valor. He then moved to Ontario and Chicago, where he met Hadley Richardson, the woman who would become his first wife. They moved to Paris in 1921, where he worked on his writing and became friends with F. Scott Fitzgerald and other American writers from the lost generation who had lived abroad for a long time. After his first book, The Sun Also Rises, came out in 1926, he left Hadley and married Pauline Pfeiffer, who was born in Arkansas. Hemingway wrote A Farewell to Arms, 1929, which was a big hit, while the couple lived in Florida. Hemingway finally moved to Spain to work as a war reporter during the Spanish Civil War. It was this job that gave him the ideas for his famous book For Whom the Bell Tolls, which came out in 1939. After it came out, he met Martha Gellhorn, who would become his third wife. Hemingway married Mary Hemingway, his fourth and last wife, in 1946. They lived in Cuba together for 14 years. Hemingway won the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1953 for The Old Man and the Sea. He also won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1954. Hemingway killed himself in 1961. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.